Well, let's get started. We've got a lot of questions to go through. And the first one has come in that says, I sometimes experience painful joints and stiffness. What causes joint pain? That's, uh, if I had a, a penny for every time everyone asks that question, yes. I'd, be, I'd be doing very well. Because in, in some ways we don't quite know. In other ways, we know that it might be your arthritis, by which we mean wear and tear. Uh, so we're talking about osteoarthritis. Um, but we also have other forms of arthritis. So the common one when people, someone say, says, I've got arthritis, they're talking what other people will call colloquially wear and tear, what we call osteoarthritis. Other people might have rheumatoid arthritis, which traditionally used to be inflammatory arthritis. But just to add complications, osteoarthritis can also be inflammatory. And when we are still learning, every day we're learning. So why do you get pain in your joints? Well, you can have wearing of the cartilage, you can have damage to the muscles, the ligaments and the tendon, which can be just from using them, um, not necessarily overuse, just using them and getting older, or it could be from trauma. Um, and that can change your pain receptors, which I'll come back to later. Um, you could just be feeling extremely stiff and that can, and then you can move differently. And if that stiffness wears off within less than half an hour, then we're probably thinking, particularly if you're over 45, that this is osteoarthritis. But if it's lasting for longer than half an hour, then that could be an inflammatory type of arthritis, classically rheumatoid arthritis. But we also have people who complain and wake up with a hot, red, painful uh, joint. Um, the first classic presentation of that is in your big toe joint. And that might be gout, which we now realize is genetic rather than lifestyle induced purely. So lots and lots of forms. Um, and I think most of the time we're probably going to be talking about osteoarthritis today. It's certainly the most common one that we tend to hear about. Um, and again, people seem to suffer with as they start to get older. So next question, as a lifelong vegetarian, how can I tell if my bones are OK and should I be taking a supplement? So vegetarianism is not known to cause problems with increase in the incidence of uh, joint problems, particularly osteoarthritis, as long as you're having a balanced diet. So if you're having plenty of calcium and plenty of vitamin D, which you often get via sunlight, but you can also get from eggs and oily fish and such like, which is, can be a difficulty if you're vegetarian, but there are things like walnuts and other foodstuffs that you can use instead, then you should be okay. But if you're thinking that there's a problem, then go and see your GP. Um, and the reason for going and seeing the GP is that we can do tests, but we, um, we can sometimes do blood tests, but we can also do um, a, a DEXA scan if necessary, which is, looks at the strength or the density of your bones. Um, warning flags, uh, let's say you've had a, a trip and slip and you've broken your, uh, your hip or your, you've broken your wrist, um, and you're over 60 or less then, but it, it's not really for the level of fall that you would expect to cause a fracture, then that might be a warning sign that there's a problem. Um, in which case, normally A&E or the emergency department when you see them would have arranged for follow-up tests. But if they haven't, um, please go and see your doctor because we can often do things about, about these things. Mm -hmm. The latter part of your question is, should you be taking a supplement? Well. If we're talking about bone health, we know that vitamin D, um, we are advised uh, these days by Public uh, Health England to be taking vitamin D supplements in the winter, um, but certain ethnicities, or if you don't get out at all, um, or if you're covered up when you go out, and therefore you're not getting any sunlight to your skin, um, we're also recommending that you should be taking 10 units of vitamin D um, each day, and you buy those over the counter. But again, come and see your GP. Everyone's individual and it's very da dangerous uh, to give you specific advice when I haven't met you. 
Absolutely. And vitamin D, you know, we always recommend to all of our, our class members that during those summer months, they try and make the most. But we do seem to get quite a lot of months where we're not getting enough vitamin D from the sunshine. But uh, hopefully the sun is shining where you are today. So another question here, um, uh, quite specifically, and again, this may be one to go and see the GP, um, that for the last few months, I've been getting pain in my thigh having difficulty straightening my leg, um, got some arthritis in the knee. Um, is the thigh pain anything to worry about? So it, going back slightly to the previous answer to the previous question, um, <clears throat> I can't really give a specific answer without having seen this person um, because there's lots of different causes. So I'm going to answer it a bit more generally, and I hope you don't mind me doing that. Yeah. Um, if you've got um, damage to your knee, so osteoarthritis causing it to be painful, or to your hip, or you've got back pain, any of these can cause you to move differently. So that might be a cause for why your thigh is feeling stiffer and more painful. And especially if you're not exercising as much, 